hello beautiful people you're welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here i say a big welcome to you be sure to hit the subscribe button so you get notified every time i drop a video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to achieve a beautiful bob wig with bangs i'm going to be making use of a scissors a needle and thread blade brush and of course the hair bundles We'll be using four bundles for this week. I'll go ahead and wear the wig cap on the mannequin head. I'm going to be using an adjustable strap mesh wig cap. And I'm also going to be making sure that the right side of the wig cap stays inward while the wrong side is turned upward so that way when I'm done with the wig it will give it a beautiful finish look both inward and outward so the wrong side will face up so I'm going ahead to start sewing in the hair Guys, please, anytime you are sewing in a wig, always make sure you go in twice, even thrice at the beginning. You hold it, you stitch it twice at the beginning to give it this firm grip that will make it last longer because we can't have our hair losing. I would not be using the turnover method for this wig. Instead, I'll be using the cut and stitch method. The turnover method always leaves the wig bumpy at the end, and we don't want that. We're trying to achieve a flat and beautiful finish look. So I'll be cutting and stitching at every end point. And guys, I can't stress this enough. Always remember to double sew, double stitch at every end point or beginning point. Now I will stop using the cut and stitch method and I'll go in using the circular sewing method. But I'll only be sewing the circular method twice, after which I will apply another technique that will give it a flat, scanty banks finished look. <laughs>
like I said, I won't be cutting it here. Instead, I will take it round. And guys, please, please, you really have to pad on the stains on my mannequin. I, I don't know. Okay, I think I use it in dyeing a week, couple of weeks. In between so for the back when I was when I see in the back I left two finger spacing at the back so as I got to the front gradually I reduced it to just a finger spacing I don't know if you understand just a finger spacing so right now I'll be going ahead to cut out the remaining part of the hair and what I'll be doing now is to split the hair into two the two wefts that were sewn together, I'll go ahead to split it into two to give it a flat and scanty look. So I'm going ahead to split it into two, and I'll be sewing that splitted hair on the line that I marked out earlier. So I'm going ahead to mark it out again to make it clearer. So I'll start sewing in the hair straight following the markings that I made on it already. This time around using a cut and stitch method, no more the circular or the hot shape, and the cut and stitch method. So I'll keep sewing straight until I get to the marking I made before the midpoint. The marking before the midpoint. When I get to that point, I'll start sewing in a circular motion i'll start sewing a circular motion until i achieve a very small circle
So what I'll be doing now is to roll a piece of splitted hair from earlier. I'll roll it into a very tight circle and see if it fits the little circle that was left behind. Then I'll sew it tightly and I'll start to attach it to the little circle. I'm going to go ahead and comb the hair out and I will take my tape rule and mark out the point at which I'm supposed to cut the bangs which is 7 inches. I will also mark out where my bang is supposed to stop. also cut the back and make it a, a blunt cut and I'll also be going ahead to flatten it with my straightener and also give it this bulb look and finally I'll be going in with the elastic band it is advisable you always sew in an elastic band when dealing with an adjustable wig cap because as time goes on it tends to slack guys this is the finished look <laughs> i am really loving the way the hair turned out honestly i'm really loving it and the best part about this hair is that i only used three bundles guys just three bundles and it's looking this gorgeous I mean look at it now <laughs> that is all for today guys thank you so much for watching my video and please like and subscribe if you haven't you can also leave a comment let me know what you think about this video and also about this beautiful bob wig man this wig is looking so gorgeous thank you so much for staying tuned thank you so much for taking time out to watch this video I really appreciate you See you in my next video. Bye.